flat cap here again trust time out this manga 5 i've had this program for quite a while but i've hardly used it i've been trying it seems really good but i have a real problem with my memory and as you can see from the interface it is quite uh, off-putting to think of using it uh, so I tend to use my sketchbook pro which I find the interface on it is a lot easier for me to manage so what I am doing here is just doing a rough outline of a little bit of clip art I want to create to put on my one of my mug templates that I'm doing at the moment. So this is a little teddy bear, a uh, little bear, and I start on one layer, do a rough pencil drawing. I d don't mind what it looks like because I just do all the mistakes and then just make it bit better each time and just keep pacing over until I get what I want and but with this program I have just actually found a course on it actually with Udemy it is so I'm getting a bit more confident with this this software it is well I'm no expert at it obviously but it from what I can see what I've, other people have said it's absolutely fantastic and a lot of people are even saying it is better than face uh, f excuse my voice I've got speech problems it is even harder it, it is e better better to use than Photoshop and to be honest I've never really liked Photoshop apart from printing my mugs and my t-shirt printing business stuff out on them it's all I really use it for is editing photos but this is really good if you know I'm only just starting to get really the hang of it but I don't see the point not use it, it I don't consider that a reason not to try I will also try to do a one of the things I really love about this program is that you can draw with vector just like normal drawing so I will create a vector layer and finish doing me roughs drawing of the bear I think it's nearly ready I will create a vector I know how far I'm going to get with this bear mainly because trying to remember what tools are where the tools are where how the interface works i mean this looks pretty complex just looking at it on the front there's a lot more put back inside you know you there's a lot more to the program than you actually can see here and it is all really good stuff i can see why everything about it using it but I am at the moment I think I said I've done a course you can see why I have problems with it because I can't bloody remember f things from one second to the next but basically I'm doing a course and it's really good and I, I have to keep watching the videos over and over I'm a little bit more sticking in my memory it seems to stay a bit better so I will get there eventually it's just going to take a while it seems to me but the pens on this program are absolutely fantastic to use they are just like drawing on papers it's, I just can't really say how good they are Even now I can feel myself thinking, why do this? Why put yourself through it? 
just turn the bloody thing off and open up sketchbook where you know you where you are that is how I sometimes feel at times I seem to spend more time taking one step forward and several back <sighs> I can feel my voice going again as you can see I all the time that I'm working in different mistakes that I have made and I will change it as I go along I can't be bothered with all this editing so I tend to send the video how it, how it was done and I think it, that helps it quite a lot actually because people see that it is just a matter of keep going at something and you will get there the colour on this is really good and the brushes the watercolour brushes uh, well it's just such a good selection I've found that I tend to like the airbrush most of all I find that works really well in this program other people have said the watercolour brushes but now as you can see the easiest way for it all for me is just grab the bloody bucket fill and fill it in and put, a sh do, put the shading in afterwards like I say it is only a bit it, I, what it is for is a the mug template I'm doing using one another program for another part of it and it will be printing the 40th birthday onto a card and I want the bear to hold it so it's only a bit of clip art but it does give me time to get a bit of practice in with it and I been doing this now for a couple of weeks trying it for a half hour every day until I scramble my head and then I will go back to doing what I was doing on something else I think if I keep doing that I will eventually get there I will learn this I mean there's even 3d models in here that you can use for posing if you're having trouble put in your image image pose how you want it you can even use 3d models in this it, it really has thought of everything this program just a shame I can't bloody use it at the moment but I feel I think see I'm getting lost again all the time I'm getting more and more lost with everything I am doing so I know I'm going to get so confused I'm going to end up just shutting the bloody thing down and deleting it so I don't going back to Sketchbook Pro where I feel comfy quite frankly it's surprising what you can get used to oh, I'm any more I'm going to have to have a rest Okay, I am back again. I have had a bit of a rest for an hour. A lie down, a cup of tea and a slice of cake and I'm ready to try to finish this voice track off again. Now, this Manga 5 is so much cheaper. It's about 50 quid for this program believe that is all so you can't believe it is actually that cheap considering how much 
Painter and Photoshop are. But I am learning a bit more. I think this program has had has has got some fantastic advantages over everything else every other art program I've seen or used to a lesser or greater degree but anyone that wants to get into digital should try this manga but I think I will come to the point where I'm going to go and open this image up in Sketchbook Pro it's it's confusing it's, it's confusing for me because I've got problems but for most people I'm sure they would soon get the hang of it and I will keep watching my course videos on each of the tools and everything I'll get there it's brilliant though I think I will if I ever get used to it I think I will end up using it all the time anyway see you in sketchbook pro oh forgot to say I've if you went on the screen you can see a picture on the right hand side this is of a caricature I am drawing at the moment but this is what I really love about this program it's it's the sub editor you can see who's been watching their videos more than once I've got I love it I use it all every time I practice I try to draw someone's face from it and if you want to draw some on the just uh, hit the dustbin here and get rid of the image and load up another image from your pictures that you want to have a bash at trying Every time I do one of my lessons, I seem to get a number of a little bit to remember, and every bit is gets me more interested in this program. I just wanted to mention that. Okay, I am on a more firmer footing now. I've opened the, the image up in Photo uh, Sketchbook Pro. I just feel much easier working in this at the moment. But I noticed when I brought, saved it, it has brought the grey background that I, was, that I used to work on in Manga to stop. It's easier on the eyes and looking at a white screen all the time, especially the amount of time I spend on a computer. But as you can see from the interface, everything is in front of me. Even I would struggle, well, I do manage it, but I, I, it's a struggle for even me to forget where everything is. It's all in front of you, and that is the beauty of this program. It's got great little tools as well, but I, what I'm doing now is just adding a bit of sh the shading in. Like I say, it's not going to be a work. Of, I don't know, but it's not going to be a work of art. It's not meant to be. It's just a piece of clip art that I needed to create for something else. But. When this is printed, it will look so good on the mug, and you will see why I don't worry too much about not being the ultimate piece of drawing. It is perfectly acceptable when it is finished and 
onto a printed onto a mug it gives a well the mug printing prints uh, I use a re re rico re re whatever it's called it is so much better than when I used to use Epsom for sublimination I now use this Rico 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 and it prints the colours from the computer or the image and the image brilliantly so I uh, I know I will like this it might not be to everyone's taste but I think it is going to be a good little seller this one but I am just going over all the little bits and then I will just flatten it I must remember I've done this before I must remember to remove that grey background so that it's just going on to white base when I flatten the image because that is the last thing I need but this is me and I do I spend my life working off of post-it notes and going from cock up to cock up but it is better than watching daytime TV I suppose I love, I, what I really like about this program is that I keep into the simplicity of the user interface but I love the uh, enlarger you, you know, can really get in make the picture large and this as well Come to think of it, I think I must be falling apart at the seams at times Anyway, I'm getting very close to finishing this, and like I say, this is I tend now because I can't remember to talk, explain what I'm trying to do. At the same time, I tend to do the voice overlays at the end. I find it a little bit easier. So this has actually been printed onto a mug, and I know it looks really good. I put it onto Facebook to see how what reaction I got from it. It was a pretty good response from it. You know, flattened image, that's it. Getting close to the end, that's it. Save it. I always like this saving bit because I always worry some I do something stupid and lose it. So I am always relieved once it is saved in a folder and I know it's on my computer anyway that is it for this blog post video whatever they're called <sighs>